Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to get out our saxophone for the first time. So you're going to need a flat surface like the, a table or the floor. Often for a saxophone player, the floor is the best option because it's big and it won't fall if it's there. When we put our case on the floor, we want to make sure that our logo is facing up if we have one. If you don't have a logo, then make sure the part of the case that is thinner is on top of the fatter piece. Thinner on top of fatter. Okay, then as we open up our case, we need to make sure that we have all of the things required to play our instrument. So, next strap should look like this. Come in a few varieties. I particularly like these ones. They have a little clasp on the end that closes. I prefer those because it's more secure. So I'm going to put that one around my neck. A lot of times people, if they have a collared shirt, like putting it underneath their collar, that just provides a little extra cushiony. Other neck straps often look like this with an open hook at the bottom. Those are okay, but you'll need to be more careful if you have that type of neck strap for your saxophone. We're going to want a cleaning cloth for saxophone with the weight at the bottom. We're going to want a reed. I recommend that you always have the reed you're playing with plus an extra two reeds in your case in, ca in case one of them chips or breaks, then you've got backups always. You're also going to need the neck of your instrument. It looks like this. And the mouthpiece and ligature. Ligature here, this is the metal piece with the screws. Mouthpiece is this resin plastic piece at the top and you may also have a mouthpiece cover that is over your mouthpiece. And of course, there is also the body of your saxophone. So if you have all of those pieces, you are good to go. Let's talk about how we put these together. Of course, the neck strap goes on your neck and your hook on your neck strap is going to go along this ring in the back of the saxophone. So we're going to connect that so it's nice and sturdy. Next thing we're going to want to do is put the neck of your saxophone onto the body of your sax. You'll often have a key right here which you can turn to loosen it up if it's not going in easily, and then turn to tighten. My saxophone's kind of a vintage one. It still remains flippy floppy no matter how tight it gets. Yours should, if you go to just when the key starts resisting, be firm enough to keep your neck in place. Okay, we also have our mouthpiece and ligature on there. So we're gonna stick those on next. You want to get the mouthpiece on halfway. You even may want to put just your mouthpiece on first and then your ligature on afterward like so. Most saxophone ligatures are designed to go on the bottom of your mouthpiece like this. Some are designed to go over the top like this. You should be able to tell which yours is based on which direction the screws are going. The screws are going off to your right, that means the ligature is in the correct position for you. In my case, when the uh, screws are on the bottom, the turning part of the screws are going off to the right. So I know that's the right position. Now we need to stick on our reed. And this is the trickiest part of getting our saxophone together because as you can see, the reed is a pretty flimsy piece of wood. It will easily chip if we're not careful with it. And so we want to be careful with it. And how we want to get it on our saxophone is to slide our ligature up with one hand while taking our reed and sliding the flat part of it down below the ligature. 
This is the best way to ensure that we don't chip the reed when we're putting it on. So I'm going to show that to you again. Here's the reed. You can see there's a part that is curved and a part that is flat. We're going to put the flat part against the mouthpiece and slide it under the ligature. And once that reed looks to be on there so that it's straight and there's only a little bit of wood going below the ligature, I'll turn that so you may be able to see it a little better. See just a little bit of that cane wood below there and it's not poking up above the top of the plastic mouthpiece, nor is it showing too much below. So if there's too much below, it'll look like that. That's too much below. If you can see that, there's a lot of extra at the top. Here's it poking too much over the top. You can see that there that we can see the reed coming over the top. We don't want that. We want the reed right at the top, lined up straight, and just a little bit of wood coming down at the bottom. Oftentimes when people are putting on their ligatures, their first instinct is going to be to have the saxophone ligature up much too high. So they will have a lot of reed sticking out the bottom. I'm going to show you what that looks like because we don't want that when we're putting our saxophone together. Okay, so I'm going to take that off so I can get a better angle for you. That is a lot of reed at the bottom. We do not want that because that will keep the reed from vibrating and make it harder for you to play. So once again, I'm going to adjust that to where it needs to be. Now that I've tightened it up, it's going to take a second to loosen so that it can go. So there's just a little bit of the reed poking out on the bottom. There it is, correctly done. Just a little bit of wood poking out the bottom of the ligature. On the top, you may be able to see a little bit of the reed over the side, but it's straight up and down otherwise. Okay. That's how we put our saxophone together. Now I'm going to show you how to take it apart and clean it. So, first thing we want to do is to take that reed off and put it away so it doesn't get chipped. Once again, the reed is the most fragile part of the instrument. And so, we'll slide it back into its case, like so. Taking your ligature off may make it a little bit easier to get your mouthpiece cleaned. So, take your mouthpiece in one hand, your cleaning cloth in the other, feed the weight into your mouthpiece, let the weight come out the bottom, pull it through, good, check for moisture. If there is extra moisture in there, a little extra water, make sure you do it again so that all of the extra moisture slash water comes out of there. Now that your mouthpiece is cleaned, you can put the ligature back on, and if you have one, you can put the mouthpiece cap on the top of it like that and stick it back in your case. We'll want to clean the neck separately as well, so unscrew the neck screw right here, turn it towards your body to loosen it up. Then we take the weighted end of our cleaning cloth, feed it through the neck here, let gravity pull it down through the bottom, then pull your cloth through. I'm going to make sure we get all of that extra water out of there, that extra moisture from your breath. So we're feeding that through again and pulling that cloth through. Our neck has now been cleaned, so we can put that back in our case. It's good to go. As you're doing this, if you have an open, uh, hooked neck strap, 
you'll want to make sure that your sax is steady. In fact, you may want to put your sax in the case while you're doing this if you don't have a hook closure. I have a hook closure so I can keep it on my lap and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, now we're going to take the weighted part of our cleaning cloth, feed it into our saxophone, letting gravity take the weight all the way to the bottom. Once we've fed that string all the way through, we're going to take the bell side on the bottom, tip it so that that weight falls out the bottom, then pull it through by the weight like so. Let's do that again, taking your saxophone, feeding the weight through, letting gravity pull it to the bottom. Once all of the string is in there, we're going to tip it forward like so. Gravity will pull the weight to the bottom. As you're holding on to it with one hand, you can pull through with the other hand. Once you've done this, you can unhook the body of your saxophone and stick it back in your case. Some of you may have this um, topper which goes on your body to help protect that area. If you have it, you can put it back in. We put the saxophone body back in your case and you can put your cleaning cloth and reed back away in your case. And don't forget to put your neck strap in there, otherwise people are going to be wondering what that is for uh, if you walk around your school with them on. So get your neck straps back in your case. And then you're ready to close it up and latch it up. And that is how you assemble a saxophone for the first time and clean it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.